Here you say you can create your first retouching actions. But what are actions? Actions are basically a series of commands inside of Photoshop that makes editing faster and saves you a ton of time. A focal execution is one of the most important actions for scale retouching. And that is why today I want to show you how you can create your first non-destructive focal separation action. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do once you open your Photoshop, and by the way, I want to show you how to create the 8-bit focal separation and also how to create the system bit focal separation. So pay close attention. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to my windows right here and click on action. I just going to open my actions like this. So once that action open, I'll click on this hamburger icon right here. And just click on button mode like this now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a set which is like a folder to store that action so just click on this folder icon right here click on it and it's going to show you to name a set so i'm going to name this set c for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to click on ok now next i'm going to do i'm going to create the action inside this t folder which we just created all right now to do that click on this plus icon right here or this plus sign and just name your action so i'm going to name this action frequency separation fx 8 bits remember i'm going to show you how to create system bits in a bit all right system bits in a bit you see what i did there all right so from here you can actually choose a shortcut key if you want but i'm not going to do that so from here you can actually choose any color you want so i'm going to choose red so that i can easily see the focus separation action inside my action tab all right now next I'm going to do, I'm going to click on record. What I hate recording, anything I do inside Photoshop right now is be recorded as an action. So let's start creating. Now to create your first focus separation action, just add a new layer. With your background layer selected, click on this plus icon right here to add a new empty layer. Now once you create this empty layer, press up Ctrl Shift alternate E. I'm just going to take this background picture and add it to this layer right here. So I'm going to rename this layer right here color and by the way focus separation we're just trying to separate the colors from the textures so that's when we're touching we can actually work on the colors separately and also work on the textures separately i'll show you what i mean in a bit all right so i'm going to name this one color and i'm going to duplicate this color layer by pressing on ctrl j and rename this top layer textures like this all right now this time i'm going to do I'm just going to separate the textures from this color layer. Pay close attention, it's very important. Now to remove the textures from this layer, I'm going to hide this texture layer. Click on this icon and go to hide it. Now after that, come to your filter, come to your blur and come to Gaussian blur like this. Now from here, you can actually add any Gaussian blur that you want. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to show you a way where you can actually see this command every time you want to do it and you can actually put any radius blur you want. So for now, let's just leave it as 10 and I'm going to click on OK. And inside your action, once you do that Gaussian blur, pay close attention, it's very important. Once you do that, just come to the action which you are creating and with this Gaussian blur layer right here, just select this box right here. So just check this box. So that it's going to pause and you can actually put the blur radius you want later when playing the action so it's very important if you don't check this one it's just going to use the blur radius you use for all your image but if you check this you have the opportunity or the chance to actually change it later all right so you can see right now if i just zoom in on this image we no longer have the textures we only have the colors right here all right now to bring back the textures i'm just going to turn on this texture layer again so once i turn it on you can see the texture are back. So this down layer consists of the color, while this up layer consists of the textures. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the colors from the texture layer. All right. So I'm going to select this texture layer. With the texture layer selected, I'm going to come to image and I'm going to come to apply image. And from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to subtract because we are removing the colors from the texture so put it in subtract now from here come to the layer you can see right now since we want to subtract the color from this layer just select the color right here because the color is what we want to subtract so once i select color the color layer will be selected now from here since this is an 8-bit focus separation just change this scale to 2 and change the offset to 128 now 128 gives us 50% gray. Make sure your layer is your color. 
your channel is on ROGB, your blending mode is on subtract, your offset is on 128, and your scale is on 2. And just click on OK. All right. Now from here, you can see we no longer have colors on the image. We have only the textures on the image. We've successfully subtracted the colors from the texture layer. Okay. Now next, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the blend mode from normal to linear light. And remember, everything I'm doing right now is being recorded as an action. Don't forget that. All right. So once I change to linear light, you can see the image is looking as if we didn't do anything. Now next, thing I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this texture layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Once I duplicate it, you can see right now the textures are looking too much. I'm going to clip it to this texture layer. So I'm going to hold alternate until this clipping mask icon show and just click the texture copy to the texture layer like this. Okay. Now change the blend mode of this texture copy from linear light to normal. You can see the image is back to normal again. Now, since we want to create a non-destructive focus separation, I'm going to come back to this color layer. With this color layer selected, I'm going to add a new empty layer like this. And this empty layer is where we are going to be using the mixer brush tool to brush non-destructively. So that if we make any mistake, we can actually erase it instead of deleting the whole focus separation and starting all over again. All right, so I'm just going to rename this layer one brush here layer or brush. So this is where we are going to be brushing on with our mixer brush tool. And right now, I'm just going to group the whole layer. With this texture layer selected, hold shift and click on the color layer. I'm just going to select all of them and just press or control G to group or command G if I'm using a Mac and just rename this group focus separation 8 bits and click on OK. Now after that, we are done creating this action. So just come back to this action I'm creating and just click on this top icon right here. So click on stop and that's all. So the next I'm going to do, come back to your hamburger icon again, click on it and click on button mode. So if I scroll the way down, so this focus separation 8 bits is the one we just created, this last action right here. So if I just delete this action and play that action, it will automatically create that action for us. So let's play it. Focus separation 8 bits, like so. And from here, it's going to show you to put the Gaussian blur radius you want. So I'm going to put a radius of about 10 for this image and click on OK. I'm just going to play that action for us. So it has played that action. So if I just open it, you can see we have it here. So this is how you can create focus separation 8 bit. Now let me show you how you can create the 16 bit focus separation action. Pay close attention, it's quite different from the 8 bit. All right. So come up to your windows again. Click on actions. Click on this hamburger icon. Click on button mode. Now, since we already created the set earlier, just click on this plus icon. And let me just rename this one focus separation 16 bit. And also, let's change the set to T, which we created earlier. And let's use green as the color and click on record. Now, I'm just going to create a new empty layer. Press or control shift or turn it E. Now, what that does is just, I just brought this barren layer to this empty layer. All right, now I'm going to rename this layer color, duplicate it by pressing or control J, and rename this one texture. All right, now let's subtract the texture from the color layer. Click on this icon right here to hide the texture. Come to your filter, come to your blur, and click on Gaussian Blur. With your color layer selected, let's use 12 and click on OK. Right after that, this part is very important. Just click on this place right here, check this box, so that you can actually go back and change the Gaussian Blur radius if you want. Now after that, just turn on this high texture layer. All right, now let's remove the colors from the texture. Click on texture layer, come to image, and click on apply image. Now, this is where 16 bits actually comes in place. Now, the way you do 16 bits focus separation is actually different from the way you do 8 bits focus separation. So, just pay close attention. So, what I'm going to do from here, change the layer to color. All right. Channel is our RGB. For the blending mode, instead of using subtract, we are going to use add. Okay. So, click on add. Once you click on add, just click on this invert right here to invert it like so. Okay. Now, just leave the scale as 2 and just click on OK. So that's for 16 bit frequency separation. That's the only different. All right. So if I zoom right now, you can see we have just the textures. So I'm going to come to my blend mode and just click on linear lights. Duplicate this layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Clip it to the texture layer like this. I change the blend mode of the texture copy to normal. 
all right my lights off i'm back so change the blend mode of the texture copy to normal and after that just click on your color layer and add a new empty layer and just rename this one brush layer and click on okay now just group everything and just rename the group focus separation system bits click on click on okay and just stop the recording so successfully create a system bit focus separation now click on this hamburger icon again and what i'm going to do from here let's just delete this one and just play that action so you can see so system bits scroll all the way down and click on system bits and just click on uh, i'm going to use level for this image i click on okay i'm just going to load that action so from here if i want to remove the blemishes i'm just going to zoom in pick my close time tool make sure your high texture copy layer is selected and just sample from the close by uh, and just press alternate to sample from the close by area and just paint on the blemishes like this to remove it just like so alternate to sample to remove now if you want to use the mixer brush to smooth out the image come to your brush layer turn off this texture layer and just pick a mixer brush tool and just paint on the image just to smoothen it out if your image is 16 bits this is how you can create focus separation system bits and if your image is 8 bits i shared earlier how you can create focus separation 8 bits and if you want to learn how to retouch your image, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creating. Peace.